Good evening, everybody. I am the Nevergram, and it's time for another episode of my Let's Play series. And we're going to do a proper one this time. Back to my roots, playing the game for about eight minutes, sucking at it badly, and talking about absolute crap whilst I'm doing it. Today's game, we're going back to the PlayStation 1. It's a puzzle game, or it's an arcade game, or, well, I have no idea what the fuck it is. So, stay tuned, and we'll see how badly I do at it. And there's the nostalgia for you. As I said, we're back on the PlayStation 1. Um, yeah, the game I've chosen is... I've never ever heard of these guys, incidentally. The Event Evolution Entertainment. E3, whatever. I have heard of those guys, though I've no idea what they're saying, so this is a good open. We're playing Poochie Carrot, which is a game that's been advertised as a sort of a cross between Breakout and Buster Move. You'll be happy to know I suck at both of those games. So this is going to be... Well, it's going to be an experiment, to say the least. And it's being advertised with this sort of weird, mystical... Mysterious... St do Mysterious Stones have handbooks? Is that the way it works now? No. Oh good, it's an anime start. This isn't fetishized at all. That guy's carrying what I assume is a cross between a pencil and a dildo on his back. Oh yes! Not fetishized in the least. So at least it's a good way of guaranteeing... Is... What the fuck is that on the right? It's a good way of guaranteeing that... I'm going to have no idea whatsoever what is going on in this game. Well that's good because games live all day on their gameplay, not on their story. Yeah, this is the game, Pushy Carrot. Uh, I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm not going to do anything to change that. Uh, so we're just going to go into it. Same rules as always, no memory card in. Yep, one player play. Eventually. And of course, I have to just keep pressing the buttons until I get in, so we're playing trial mode, I suppose. Uh, why is the T capitalised? Playing on normal difficulty. It's, it's, uh, my, my OCD is going mad at that. No! Capitalise the S, not the T! Right, we're playing as Garnet. Whose secret stone is Garnet. That's imaginative. Okay. Presumably he's going to be making racist and jokes all throughout. That, that's a joke for anybody who ever watched British TV in the 1970s. Oh, it's the guy with the dildo on his back. Um, good for him. He seems happy with that. Not doing too badly so far. Okay, that was easy enough. What the hell is he doing there? Okay, so yeah, you just bounce your little ball there off of all the uh, other balls, which I think, I believe are called stones. And it advances in sort of Buster Move style, but you crack them off for want of a much better way of putting it. Uh, breakout style. As I said, I suck at both games. Ah, 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 come on, come on, come on! Give me a break. I'm assuming I've got a, a lives counter somewhere, but I can't see it for the life of me. Yeah, I want it where I put in that. Buster move style, if you knock out supporting stones, um, the other ones fall as well. Much like that. I'm not doing too badly at this. Yes, I'm tempting fate, because it's much funnier when I do that. Uh, he hasn't whipped out his dildo yet. And I can't get through a single episode of this Let's Play say series without saying this a thing I never ever thought I would say, and that pretty much tops everything I've ever had to say so far. I don't know what the significance of the colours is. I'm assuming, like, Breakout and Buster Move, there really isn't one. In fact, given that I'm not even matching colours, I'm just knocking them out, so I'm assuming there is no significance to it whatsoever. This is basically just Breakout, only with a fancy um, additional tech additional um, game mechanic and the 13 year old boy with a King Kong sized dildo on his back. Yeah, what he said. 
This is, of course, 1997. What the? You'll have someone's eye out with that. This is 1997, so, of course, translations were atrocious. 1990 oh, cock. Uh... Right, so if I had to assume I don't have a lives counter, it's just if I let it, if I let the uh, ball drop, it's going to send loads more thingies my way. There's a flashing testicle thing on the side there. Oh, it takes out the whole rope. Cool. Useful to know. Anyway, as I say, no, 1997. Um, Japanese translation was usually non-existent or bloody awful. Uh, for those of you wishing to contest this, I have four words for you. He are really sick. That sort of crap would not... They would not be able to get away with that nowadays. Oh. We have a new music track. That sounds suspiciously similar to the uh, one that we were just listening to. Do you remember in the old... In, in the good new days when they actually made music tracks loop? I think they mastered that on Sonic 1 and the Ma Ma Mega Drive. They mastered that on Super Mario Brothers. They mastered that in Donkey Kong. Why the hell are they not doing it in this game? There. No, that's not how you do Goatsy. You're an anime character. I expect you to know better. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. Um, apologies to all anime fans out there. <laughs> he lies. Um... Yeah, I've never actually watched a Japanese anime in my life. Not a single one. I've had, I've, uh, I've had a few recommended to me, but I've never... Oh, Jesus, he's got that out again. Uh, I've had a few recommended to me. I've never actually um, sat down and watched any. Um, with the obvious exception of Spirited Away, which I don't count as, like, anime in the strictest sense of the word. It's Japanese and it's animated. Aye! He's not looking happy now. I can only assume somebody's bumming him. Um, yeah, I don't count just Spirit of the Way because that's too mainstream. And I also don't count two shows that I watched when I was younger. That was close. Oh, shite! Why? What the hell just happened there? Never mind. Um, yeah, two shows when I watched when I was younger, which are technically half Japanese and half French. Um... Ulysses 31, which was absolutely bloody awesome. It's got the best um, intro series of all time. There's 26 episodes of it, and uniquely, it actually came to a definitive end. It was 26 episodes with a, st a beginning, a middle, and an end to the story. All the episodes were fantastic. I've got the whole DVD of it. I recommend you do as well. The other one that I watched a lot of was Mysterious Cities of Gold. We'll just punctuate that sentence with some random dildo swinging. Um, yeah, Mysterious Cities of Gold, which is sort of set in Central America in the 16th century, and featured a really bizarre bunch of characters, including the pirate captain, who I can only assume was... Well, he had... Well, he was brain damage, let's be honest about it. But yeah, both of those were sort of half Japanese, half French... Oh, give me a fucking break. Half Japanese, half French uh, collaborations. So nowadays, when anybody asks me if I ever watch anime, I will ask them, do you mean Japanese anime or French anime? And now he's boxing with us, the um, Garnet bloke. Oh, shit. Should not have done that. Uh, uh, if I can get access to that top row, I should be okay. Uh, no, he's getting bummed again. Okay, I need to take out those two light blue ones there in order to be stand a chance of not dying. Oh! That's a nice shoe you have there. And I am shit hot. This is actually going a lot better than I expected. Yes, I'm tempting fate again. It didn't work last time, so I don't expect it to work this time. Even though those lines are... Oh! Horse talking. I have to take out too many to knock that out. I think I'm dead here. Well, that was a good prediction, at least. So I have seven grade. I d I've got no context for that whatsoever, so I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, there seems to be g going down, so the lower the grade, the better. 
And incidentally, yes, I know what I'm entering now. You should know as well. And any Nobogram jokes will be much appreciated. So, thank you. Thank you for all that. Um, do I want to continue? Well, you can tell by the time we're on, the, um, on this video where that I'm, what I'm going to do, can't you? Nice jingle. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, that was Poochie Cowart. Probably wasn't, but that's how I'm from.